What's going on everyone? In today's Book Mind Academy video, both Victor and I are going to talk about the two most difficult things, the two most difficult challenges that you're going to face if you're a new Amazon FBA bookseller doing online book arbitrage. But before we get into that, what's going on, Victor? How's it going, Joji? I think I say this every time, right? We're kind of going to this back and forth. Um, but yeah, if you're a new bookseller, this is your video. Uh, we are going to cover two of the probably the, the most challenging parts of selling books and uh, let's go. Yeah, absolutely. So if you're a new Amazon seller, you just set up your Amazon Seller Central account, you're really excited, you watched our videos, you go over to BookMud and you want to start buying the books, but then you realize you actually can't sell many books, right, Victor? You're actually gated or restricted. What does gated and restricted mean, Victor? Um, it means that like you found a book, you think you're ready to sell it, you get the ISP number and you put it into Amazon and Amazon tells you, oh, sorry, you can't sell this book. Like you need permission or it's restricted. The little sell button when you put in the ISP number and isn't highlighted for you. So therefore you can't sell the book. So for example, if we went and took in, uh, you know, ASIN or ISBN under add products, so we add it here. You can see how I actually have the option to select the condition because I'm able to list it. But for you, it actually just say you're unable to sell this item or it would say apply to sell. And so basically the difficult part here of being a new bookseller is the fact that there isn't really much for Amazon to go off of, right? Like you don't have a reputation yet, right? Amazon really wants to protect their customers, right? right? So that means they have to kind of vet you first. They need to know, are you someone that's actually going to sell like, you know, legitimate products? Are customers going to be happy with you? And that takes time, right? right? So here's a couple of tips that we have for you if you are in this boat and you see that apply to sell because you're restricted. Number one is anytime it says request approval or apply to sell, always click that button. Now, one or two options is going to occur. The first option that where you can't do anything, you're going to be, you know, go to a screen that basically says, hey, provide an invoice, right? And so wh why wouldn't we be able to do that for right now? Well, first off, we don't recommend them to do that. So actually, if you were to click that and it says, uh, you know, provide an invoice with 10 units that you have purchased and send that to, into Amazon, that's just too much work because you're going to have to buy that new from some wholesaler and then provide that to Amazon. It's a lot of money for just one particular book. So yeah. you only want to find books that you can actually sell. And, uh, and, and you know, that that's probably the best way to, to get started. Yeah. And actually, I'm just thinking about this right now. You, and again, I don't know, this is an interesting idea. It hasn't been tested, but make sure you can let me know what you, what you think here. Technically, Amazon is a distributor. They are a wholesaler. So maybe you could find a, a really, really, really cheap book and buy 10 units brand new directly from Amazon and submit that invoice. I don't see why they wouldn't accept that. But again, the difficulty with doing that is that you'd only be approved to sell that one book or that one publisher, right? So that's an idea, but again, it can be very expensive. Even if you find a book that's like $5, if you buy 10 of them, that's like 50 bucks that you're dropping. So what we don't recommend is, you know, to go through the invoice option or invoice route. Now, option number two is that if you click re request approval, you actually will just have to watch a series of like three videos and there'll be a set of three questions that Amazon wants you to answer. And they're very obvious, like what the right answers are. You basically just select the right answer and basically click submit and then you get auto engaged or auto approved. And what does that mean, Victor? And that's what we call it, auto approved. Basically, as long as you follow these like three videos and answer a few questions, you are then allowed to sell that book. So that's auto auto approved. And um, then, then you know, okay, uh, Amazon's starting to allow you to sell. So, right. so the most challenging part is actually get those first sales in because right. once you kind of prove yourself as a seller, you'll start getting auto engaged on a, on a few more and more brands. Right. Yep. Exactly. It, it was to the point where once we both sold so many books, we just stopped seeing it. We just were essentially auto engaged in every, almost every book, not every book, but almost right. every book. So again, option number one, if it says provide an invoice, just move on. But no, option number two, if you just answer a few questions, by the way, the answers are the same every single time and just always keep requesting approval. And again, a lot of times it is for an entire like brand or publisher, which is great because then you can sell all the books in within that publisher. But that's the first thing that we recommend. That's the first hardest thing. Now, the second most difficult thing if you're a new bookseller is you're not buy box eligible. And what does that mean, Victor? Now, this one actually takes a little bit longer, right? Yeah. So the first thing is to get some auto engated uh, brands and, and publishers so you can start selling some books. But after that, you want to get buy box eligible, which means... Right. When a customer goes to a listing and sees the um, first purchased up, ba basically just added to your card, that's what we call the buy box. Right. And you're only eligible for that because Amazon sees that as a premium thing. Um, they only give that to sellers who are proven themselves. And so 
it takes a while to prove yourself. Um, you know, uh, there's estimates between 50 to 100 successful cells. Um, so, some people said it was taking up to 200 cells, yeah. especially like it, it depends on how many cells you have and how fast you were able to get those cells. Does that really matter? Um, also, positive feedback also helps out. You know, it, right. it, they kind of it's a it's a secret algorithm. But yeah. once you get it, oh, yeah, it's, it's a completely different. You're a completely different bookseller after that. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're here on a uh, listing just so that you know what the buy box is. Essentially, there's a new buy box and use buy box. It's the easiest way for a customer to buy your book. They can just literally click this button and add to cart. And when you are the featured or featured offered or buy box eligible, then you actually see like your sales starts soaring because now all of a sudden all your books potentially can be featured, whereas before they couldn't be featured. And so that just means that you get a lot more sales. So the reason why this is really important as a new bookseller is because the hardest time to be a bookseller is in the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know the least about bookselling. You have the least experience. But not only that, Amazon makes it the most difficult it will ever be for you to sell books. Why? Because they restrict you in a lot of books and then they don't even give you buy box eligibility. So Victor and I thought, okay, well, what would be a good analogy for what it's like to be a bookseller? This is what we came up with, climbing a mountain. This picture exemplifies, I think, really well what it's like to become a, a new bookseller and then what it could potentially look like as you, you know, if you do persevere. So Vic, do you want to go into like what we're thinking with this picture? Here? Yeah. So you can see that person on the far left, that person's yeah, right. barely starting. And that's where we're at right now. If you're a new seller and that's why we're making this video to let you know, okay, this is the hardest time, but things are going to get better. Yeah. Um, once you're able to sell your first few books, once you find some books you're able to sell, sell those books, e even if it's break even, sell those books, yeah. Uh, get to the next level. And you can see that person getting pulled up to that next level. And that next level is somebody who is uh, able to be auto engaged on a few uh, different publishers and now right. able to sell some books. And they're seeing some traction. They're getting excited, but now they realize, okay, okay, that's great, but I have, I'm not buy box eligible. I'm the lowest price, but I'm not buy box eligible. I'm literally $10, $15 less than the, the buy box. What's happening? It's because uh, Amazon even makes it a little bit more difficult to get the buy box uh, to to make yourself buy a box eligible. And it's about the sell through rate, getting the, your reps in. And you can see that we're help, we'll also help you through that. Because yeah. once you get through that, once you get the buy box, we're talking about a, a huge, a paradigm shift between yeah. where you were to where you, where you are now once you get yeah. the buy box. And to be huge. Um, we're, we're, we're here to help you out, right? We're, we're yeah. here to help you actually get to that point because it feels good up there. It feels good on the yeah. top of the mountain. Yep, this is Victor and Joji and all the rest of the people that are my box odds. Well, we're up here like partying, like, Woo. yeah, we're like, oh, you guys can do it. Like, come on, let's go. And the point is, it's not easy, right? Like, the hardest part is the climbing up the mountain. Yeah. Once you climb up the mountain, then it's just, it's just, you know, going downhill. It's, it's really this. Like, once we're over the mountain, we're all together, right? We all have a goal. It's like, let's buy books, you know, we're buy box eligible, sell books. And we have an awesome, you know, opportunity in front of us. This, I mean, this is just amazing opportunity. Literally, there's thousands of books that you can buy, so many of them that you can sell, and you can make a lot of money from them. I mean, both Victor and I retired you know, a large part because selling books as our side hustle was allowing us to save pretty much all of our income from our normal jobs, right? And so right. there's a, a, a massive amount of opportunity, and there's so much more that you could be able to do and see once you get that buy box eligibility. But again, the hardest part is right now. So this is where the overwhelming majority of people give up. They're at the bottom, they look at the top of the mountain, they go, I'm done. Or, you know, they're halfway along and they're just like, it's just too difficult, I'm out. But I guarantee you, if you can overcome, you know, your first, let's say, you know, 100, 150 sales, mm -hmm. you're going to get there. And once you get there, it just can become way easier, way easier. So really, these are just words of encouragement, right? We've seen it multiple times. And, yep. and, you know, we celebrate every time somebody is buy box eligible because right. first off, they see so many more sales, plus they're so excited. And yeah. we, so we know it's possible. We know you guys can do it. It's just about putting in your reps, right? Going in and selling, selling a few hundred books. And at this particular point, if, especially if you're new, don't worry about making even profit. Right now, it's about breaking even and getting some sales under your belt so that Amazon realizes that you're a legitimate seller. Yeah. I mean, you think about it long term, right? If you're somebody who's really committed to this and you know that you're going to be in this for the long haul and you have some pretty good capital, really the goal should be just to, to get ungated in as much stuff as you can and get buy box eligible because that's really when the opportunity really expands. That's really where you want to be. So I think uh, really good advice there is just if you can try to break even and also some tips 
if you don't have a lot of capital, like really try to be, you know, finding books around uh, your house or in your local community, any sort of books you can get your hands on. Again, make sure you look at Keepa, make sure it's like a book that will actually sell, make sure it has a decent sales rank. But if you, any extra sell here or there that you can get is really going to matter uh, towards you be, you know, being um, auto engaged in a lot of books and also becoming buy box eligible. So I think that's a really good point, Joji. Everyone around their house has books. Go, yeah. go scan some of those books to see if there's any of those books that maybe you don't necessarily need anymore or want anymore. Yeah. See if there's any profit to be had on Amazon and yeah. list those books as your first books. Yeah, absolutely. And just be, you know, just be creative, be clever and keep your eyes open. Like I live in an apartment complex. People give away books for free all the time and most of them aren't worth anything, but sometimes there are books that are worth something. You know, if you see garage sale on the side of the road, you know, make sure, you know, scan it, a few books. I guess all I'm saying is the goal isn't really to be thrifting. Um, if you want to do online book arbitrage, the goal is to do online book arbitrage, but the thing is you've got to get there first. Like you've got to get to being able to sell most books and then you got to get to buy box eligibility. So whatever you can do to bridge the gap there, anything that you can do to help you get to the top of the mountain, it's just going to make everything else so much easier. So all we're going to say again is that right now you are in the most difficult part of selling. If you can get through this most difficult part of selling and you're golden, you're going to love the view. You're going to love this because it's so much fun and it's very profitable. It can make quite a bit of money, especially if you're good at it. So hopefully that makes sense, Victor. Any other uh, parting words before we leave? Um, that you guys can do it. Yeah. You know, it's about getting it done. Go and get it done. You can do it. Uh, we're here to help you. Uh, we have a whole community who has done it and uh, we're here to help you too. Yeah, sounds good. All right, guys, see you in the next Book Mind Academy video series and 